Now, I'm not sure if I can actually show a vibrator on YouTube, but let's let's give that a go. What's happening, mathematicians? And I say mathematicians because um, who in the comments actually commented uh, when I forgot to say mathematicians? And mate, you're a fucking Einstein. You're more than a mathematician. Yeah, so comment below. I'm going to start featuring your comments in my videos because why the hell not? I'm a big fan of uh, comedians' podcasts such as... Uh, your mum's house, your mum's house is my favourite podcast, just watch the uh, live show on the weekend and then right under that would be Bad Friends and then under that would be Tiger Belly and then under that would be the Stevie Weeby show and I actually made the effort to go check out Mung Chi which Stevie Weeby is the, the front man, uh, David Cho is also in the band and I always heard them talk about Mung Chi and the band, I never really checked it out. And I gotta be honest, I was pretty inspired. I listened to uh, Bullies by Mung Chi, I think that's the, the, the name of the song. I'll, I'll play it up here. Yeah, after after listening to that song, I was I was kind of like blown away. It really inspired me to get another project happening. Uh, Ode to the Hustle, which is off my new EP GP IAP, um, that should be coming out this year at some point. So I wanted to get started on my next EP, and um, I kind of have a weird uh, process on how I write, how I come up with concepts, and how I write in an EP. So I thought this would be the perfect video to kind of show you my, my, my process in coming up with a project. And that's why I have this piece of paper out because I like to write shit down so I can always revisit it. So uh, obviously, Mung Chi, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. Mung Chi which is Korean for hammer, which is pretty fucking, pretty fucking metal, dude. Um, so I'm just gonna write out a list of artists that kind of, I'm gonna take inspiration from. And throughout the whole week, I'm just gonna listen to these artists and kind of get into the mind frame of, uh, creative mind frame that way. So another artist that I'm gonna take inspiration from in this is the Avalanches. So, Dr. Octagon, which is Cool Keith. And, oh, by the way, I didn't even mention I'm going to add uh, more vocal or lyrical content to this EP. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that so far, but listening to, listening to Monk Chi and, like, Dr. Octagon and just, they have such a experimental kind of uh, lyric, lyrical content. Yeah, we can add to this later. This is gonna be a part one video, uh, but let's come up with maybe some visuals I can watch. And I'm gonna write film inspo. And it's, it's, it's uh, I definitely wanna check out Videodrome. Maybe that's a movie I can kinda of get me into that creative process. My my fucking pen's running out, video jam. Um, I'm gonna watch a bunch of Black Mirror. I just started getting that into that tonight, and it's kinda cool, it's got that sci-fi. I, I don't know how to spell mirror, dude. I, li I like to work with imagery a lot. Like, if I can picture like a particular scene or uh, some imagery, that really helps with my music writing, because I'm just kind of creating, in a sense, a theme around the visuals that I see. And that always helps a lot. So, uh, maybe I can write some elements like uh, drum breaks, speech samples, experimental 
I think a lot of my music is down tempo. So for this particular project, I want to be kind of up tempo, um, upbeat. Not particularly, like, I don't want it to be upbeat and happy. Maybe, like, upbeat, but kind of, like, melancholy. Uh, I want to say weird, uh, kind of scary elements, but I don't want it to be, like, a fucking horrorcore al uh, album. So, like, I'm just going to write scary sci-fi. Maybe, like, punk guitar. Punk guitar. Maybe I can find a cheap... Uh, guitar and like gum tree or something that I can record with but for now um, for now that's what I've got I can always add to it but uh, as I'm making the music I can always look back and think is this in the vein of what I want my project to be to sound like to kind of be inspired by so I was going over the list this is why it's always good to write shit down and I was looking at uh, weird scary sci-fi which kind of brought me back to one of my other projects, which is called Celestial, where I sampled a lot of, uh, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm gonna censor this, but I sampled a lot from these kind of sound, sound effect uh, albums, and I got a lot of samples out of it. That's why it's always good to write shit down, because um, if I didn't write down uh, weird scary sci-fi I wouldn't have came up with the idea to go look to see if this company has uh, sold other albums has other albums that are kind of like scary sound effect albums shout out to uh, Moe who uh, they're actually his hand-me-down records so I'm sure he sampled them before um, so I'm gonna look and see if they have any other copies or volumes of the same similar sound effect album. Okay, so I actually found another version of that record. So I'm downloading that as we speak. And I just found pretty much all the, the sound effect samples that I'm going to use. So what I've done is I created a folder on my desktop. I'm gonna name this, uh, I, don't, I, I haven't even came up with the title of the project yet, but I'm just gonna name this new project. Whoa, let's go new project. Okay, and in that new folder, I'm gonna move this later onto like another folder, but inside that salt folder, I'm going to create sound effects. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a sample sample pack for my new project. So I can always go into this sample pack um, with with some of the inspiration. For, for instance, uh, uh, weird, scary, sci-fi, I already have that element and that's gonna be in my sound effects folder. There, um, I'm just gonna drag and drop these into that folder. So I'm gonna highlight all of them and drop them into that folder. And now I have all the sound effects I'm gonna use for the next, uh, for, for the new project. Now I'm gonna create a folder called Drum Breaks. What's some other elements in the sample pack that I'm creating that I can, I can get? Obviously like main samples, um, I can, I can do that a bit later, but maybe percussion. I want this next project to be percussion heavy. That's what I'm gonna write down now, percussion heavy. I did not spell percussion right just then, percussion heavy. And uh, I guess what I'm looking for is like Foley percussion. Uh, maybe that's what I can do next. We're gonna go record a bunch of percussion from shit around the house. I'm not sure if I can actually show a vibrator on YouTube, but let's let's give that a go. So 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's um, kind of like a, uh, a fucking workflow or process that you guys find uh, find works with you, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I'd love to switch up my process and I hope my process kind of inspires you guys creatively and, and, and maybe you can do something similar. Um, I'm gonna record a bunch more percussion, maybe some pots and pans from the kitchen, but that's gonna be in next week's video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell for notifications. And for